So it's Diamond here, uh, Diamond Fernandez here, talking about this study, and it's the Journal of, from a Journal of American College of Cardiology, Comparative Effects of Low-Dose Rosovastatin, Placebo, and Dietary Supplements on Lipids and Inflammatory Biomarkers. And so when I look at this, this, uh, this test here, or this uh, study, it just came out uh, November 6, 2022, and it basically shows that uh, when we look at the report there, and I can, I, I'll go through it, basically amongst individuals with increased risk of cardiovascular disease, what it's showing us is that um, if you give rosuvastatin, which is a statin, it significantly lowers LDL more than looking at five supplements, fish oil, cinnamon, garlic, turmeric, and plant sterols, and, sorry, and red yeast rice. And so when we look at that, I, I, I question this because that, you know, in our clinic, that's not really what we focus on. Uh, to if someone's trying to get off a statin, we don't do that. But what is failing with this study is number one, who cares if you lower LDL? It's about understanding and lowering the right particle sizes, which is what we do in our clinic. So it's about who cares about LDL? It's about lowering the particle size. And, and more importantly, what's flawed about this study is, is that it doesn't even tell me the outcomes. It doesn't even tell me uh, if someone is taking supplements versus someone who's taking a low dose statin, what is their, how many people end up with heart disease or not? And that's, that's what we're failing to see here. And that's where I don't think we'll see a complete study on that end of it. So anyway, that's my thoughts on this study is that it, it, it's something that when I look at this study and I see, um, you know, there was 190 participants, that's fine. But if you're just looking at LDL cholesterol as the marker, which is what it's looking at here, who cares? In lowering LDL, it's like, uh, hold on, let me grab a bucket here. It's like, I have a bucket of, of golf balls and tennis balls in my office here. It's just like, lower, okay, I can lower the whole bucket. But LDL comes in different sizes. You got the small and the large. And so these large ones are actually good. You don't want to minimize these ones. You only want to minimize the smaller uh, plaque causing particles. So who cares if you lower the bucket? It's about lowering the particle sizes. More importantly, we don't have any outcomes here on this. Who cares if you lower a number? It's about lowering the, the actual outcomes. And that's the, that's the key on that side of things. And, you know, you, you can look on the internet and when you, when you see the number needed to treat or how many people need to be taking a statin versus you not, know, that's the key. <clears throat> so I think this study is a little bit flawed. I don't even want to get into the type of supplements that they were using. Um, that's another story as well, but, uh, yeah, I just think it's a flawed study. Uh, uh, it's good to be able to see this. I think we're in the right direction, but I think we're missing some key points. Um, yeah, look forward to continue to help you live happier, healthier, and longer. Make sure you subscribe uh, to our channel and uh, look forward to updating you on some important markers to keep you uh, up to date on your and improve your heart health. Take care.